Tesla in, in just the last year or two alone um, for, for reasons maybe having in some cases nothing to do with Tesla. Maybe it has more to do with Elon Musk's involved with, with X, formerly known as, as Twitter. I still can't get used to saying that. But um, <laughs> how much of it is, is, is endemic to the EV business and how much has to do with his personality and the role he's currently playing in the world? Yeah, look, I mean, it's definitely been navigating a lot of challenges. With, I mean, for, look, it was Cinderella ride for many, many years. And now growth challenges, competition, price war that's played out, must balancing a lot of other things, obviously, ever since X. Politically, you know, the, the, when you sell to the mass market, usually alienated, you know, it's not a great thing. So today we're diving into an incredibly fascinating discussion about Tesla the enigmatic Elon Musk, and the future of artificial intelligence within the electric vehicle industry. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Your support means the world to us and helps keep these conversations going. All right, let's start with something that's been on a lot of people's minds. How Elon Musk's involvement with Twitter, now rebranded as X, might be impacting Tesla. This topic is particularly intriguing because Musk's personality and his ventures in various other domains undeniably create ripple effects that reach Tesla. For Tesla, it's been a challenging period and for Musk, but but my view is the longer term vision. You to my company like a few years ago, two three hundred vehicle, two three hundred thousand vehicles. Now it's two per year. So the point is like when you start to get to like six million vehicles out there, and what I ultimately believe at one point will be four or five million per year, it's price driven. They're gonna have to lower prices. That's what's happened. But the golden scenario, like the golden goose, is full self drive. Like that, I'd argue from an AI perspective, like that is the key to the longer term valuation for Tesla. And that's an AI ecosystem. And, and, and we've seen Apple reach out now to, to other partners to mm -hmm. include artificial intelligence in the, in the iPhone. Is, is that where we're going to see this great convergence that makes the most difference? Not, not just to, to investors, but also to people who use the products. Yeah, I think most are like most consumers in the world, they will interact with AI through an Apple device. I, I, I'm not saying next three months, but when you look out next two, three, four years, and that's why Apple doesn't have to be first, but they have the biggest install base in the world, 2.2 billion iOS devices. So NVIDIA's, they're selling the shovels, Gold Rush, but the implementation of it is gonna be Apple. When you look at Tesla and you look at AI, full self-drive, I mean, those are some of the use cases that I think you're going to see play out. We, we've ended a decade, you have five, seven, ten percent of vehicles that will ultimately be self-driving. Hey, let me ask you about that, because not everybody seems to love that notion. And, and there have been some high profile uh, fatal accidents that have occurred mm -hmm. with, you know, self-driving uh, vehicles. We talked uh, recently with, with Melanie Mitchell, who wrote a great book about obviously artificial intelligence. And in the book, she talks about some of the problems with fully autonomous vehicles misreading um, signs that, that a human wouldn't misread. Uh, and she mentioned a, a billboard with a policeman uh, that was yeah. holding up a stop sign and, and, and the car misread that as a stop sign and, and, and stopped repeatedly because it couldn't differentiate between a real stop sign and something more symbolic. I mean, how long is it gonna take? Elon Musk is a figure who commands attention, whether it's for his innovative ideas or his unpredictable tweets. Now, as he's taken the reins at Twitter, transforming it into X, there's a lot of speculation about how this might be influencing Tesla. Think about it. Elon Musk is essentially the face of Tesla. His vision and leadership have been pivotal in driving the company forward. But now, his time and energy are also being directed toward revamping Twitter. Could this dual focus be a distraction? Is it possible that his involvement with X is pulling his attention away from Tesla at a critical time when the company faces intense competition and growth challenges? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. The speaker in the video describes Tesla as having a Cinderella story, and I think this is a brilliant analogy. For many years, Tesla was like the underdog with this magical, meteoric rise. 
They went from being a niche automaker to a powerhouse in the industry. But now, Tesla is facing new growth challenges, competition, and even price wars. Imagine Cinderella after the ball. The magical rise has happened, but now reality sets in. The company is no longer just about innovation. It's about sustaining that innovation while growing at an unprecedented rate. Um, for AI to be utilized in such a way that things like fully autonomous vehicles, whether they're trucks or cars, can navigate our streets such as they are. Yeah, <laughs> our billboards, our, tra our traffic lights, uh, all the subtleties that come along with driving. And, and granted, not every human's a great driver, but, but you know, it, it's still a very heavy lift to get to the point where it can take into account the unexpected. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're gonna get. This shift is where things get really complex. So, the question we need to consider is, with Musk's focus being potentially split, could this be a hindrance to Tesla as it navigates these new waters? Or does his diversified attention actually bring in new perspectives that benefit the company in unexpected ways? Next, let's talk about Tesla's massive growth. It's truly mind-blowing. Just a few years ago, Tesla was producing about 300,000 vehicles annually. Now that number has skyrocketed to 2 million vehicles per year. This kind of growth is almost unprecedented in the automotive industry. But with such rapid growth comes the need to address pricing strategies. To keep up with demand and continue expanding, Tesla has started to lower prices on some of its vehicles. This move is a classic double-edged sword. On one hand, lower prices make Tesla's vehicles more accessible to a broader audience, which can significantly boost sales volumes. But on the other hand, reducing prices can squeeze profit margins. It's a delicate balance to strike. So, what do you all think? Is Tesla making the right move by lowering prices to capture more market share? Or should they be more cautious and focus on maintaining higher profit margins to ensure long-term profitability? It's a tough call, and I'm really curious to hear your perspectives. Next three to five years are key. I mean, this is not something that's going to happen overnight. A lot of issues, you know, a lot of tragedies that we've seen. So the technology needs to get to that point. Regulatory is going to become a big focus. Got to get things approved. It's going to be baby steps. But from it, look, it goes back to like, I'm not saying it's easy, but if you look at the technology and you look what Tesla's doing and Waymo and there's a ton of other autonomous players out there, like it's coming. Like technology will be here. It's just a matter of when and how it plays out. Now, this part is super interesting. The speaker highlights that the golden goose for Tesla, the real game changer, is their full self-driving technology. They argue that this is the key to Tesla's long-term valuation and their AI ecosystem. And it's true, full self-driving has the potential to revolutionize transportation. Imagine a world where cars drive themselves, reducing accidents caused by human error and freeing us up to do other things during our commutes. But here's the catch. Full self-driving is also one of the most controversial aspects of Tesla. There have been several high-profile accidents involving Tesla's autopilot feature, which is a less advanced version of their self-driving tech. These accidents have raised serious concerns about the safety and reliability of full self-driving. So the question is, will full self-driving become the standard in the future, or are we still far from that reality? What do you all think? Let's shift gears and talk about Apple. The video mentions how Apple is integrating AI into their devices, which will bring AI to a massive consumer base. This is huge, because while companies like NVIDIA are developing the tools and chips that power AI, Apple is making AI accessible to everyone through their iPhones and iPads. Think about it. AI-powered features like facial recognition, voice assistance, and personalized recommendations are becoming commonplace on our devices. It's going to be fascinating to see how Apple's approach to AI, which focuses on consumer applications, will influence the AI market compared to Tesla's focus on full self-driving. Speaking of self-driving, the video also discusses the challenges AI faces in fully autonomous vehicles. Remember that example of a car misreading a billboard as a stop sign? 
that's a real-world problem that AI needs to solve. And it's not just about technology, it's also about regulatory approval and, most importantly, safety. Do you trust AI to navigate our streets in the near future? Personally, I think we're still a few years away from that level of reliability. Lastly, the video touches on the potential life-changing applications of AI, particularly in pharmaceutical development. Recognizing virus mutations and developing drugs quickly can save countless lives. This is where AI can make a significant impact beyond consumer tech. And now we come to the latest Tesla news. If you've been following the electric vehicle scene, you've probably heard whispers about a refreshed Model Y on the horizon. Elon Musk, the enigmatic CEO of Tesla, recently took to Twitter to share some tidbits that have left many of us scratching our heads and eagerly anticipating what's to come. Let's address the elephant in the room, the current Model Y. It's a fantastic car, no doubt about it. But as with any technology, there's always room for improvement. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a shiny new upgrade? Musk seems to believe that the recent dip in Model Y sales might be attributed to customers holding out for the next big thing. And you know what? He might just be right. I'm one of those people who's been patiently waiting, hoping for a Model Y that's even better than the current one. So, is there a new Model Y in the works? Absolutely. Tesla is constantly innovating and refining its vehicles, so even a slightly newer Model Y would likely offer some enhancements. However, Musk was quick to clarify that we shouldn't expect a major refresh this year. Now, this is where things get a little murky. Musk called out a rumor about an imminent Model Y refresh, dismissing it as clickbait. He even pointed fingers at a specific YouTube channel, accusing them of using misleading thumbnails to lure in viewers. Now, I'm not here to take sides in this clickbait drama, but it does raise an interesting question. Can we trust everything we see and hear online? The answer, as always, is a resounding no. It's crucial to be discerning consumers of information, especially when it comes to something as exciting and rapidly evolving as electric vehicles. Okay, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Tesla currently offers a lineup of impressive vehicles, the Model 3, Model Y, Model S, Model X, and the highly anticipated Cybertruck. Each of these cars brings something unique to the table. But for me, the current Model 3 stands out as the sweet spot in terms of value and performance. Don't get me wrong, the Model Y is a great car. But I have a feeling that many potential buyers are taking a long, hard look at the Model 3 and seeing some compelling reasons to choose it instead. It's not just about the looks, although the refreshed Model 3 is undeniably sleek. We're talking about significant upgrades in terms of noise reduction, suspension, and overall refinement. But wait, there's more. The anticipation surrounding Tesla's adoption of advanced batteries from CATL and the potential use of in-house M3P batteries is adding another layer of complexity to the Model Y story. People are eager to see how these new technologies will impact the car's performance and range. And then there's Project Juniper. This is Tesla's codename for a major overhaul of the Model Y, both inside and out. Reports from Chinese sources suggest that suppliers are already gearing up to provide parts for this revamped Model Y, with production expected to begin sometime in 2024. However, Musk has stated that the Juniper version won't hit the streets until next year. So, we have conflicting reports here, which makes it difficult to pinpoint exactly when we'll see this new and improved Model Y. Now, despite all this uncertainty, one thing is clear. The Model Y remains a hot commodity. It's still one of Tesla's best sellers, even though demand has softened slightly due to the anticipation of a refresh. If you're in the market for a Model Y right now, you might be able to snag a good deal. Prices are at their lowest in many regions, making this an opportune time to buy. But if you can wait, I believe the upcoming Model Y refresh will be worth it. It's not just about the potential improvements in battery technology and range. It's about the overall package, the culmination of Tesla's relentless pursuit of innovation. So, there you have it. The Model Y saga continues, filled with intrigue, speculation, and a healthy dose of anticipation. Whether you're a die-hard Tesla fan or simply curious about the future of electric vehicles, the Model Y is a story worth following. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the latest Tesla updates. Until next time, keep your eyes on the road and your hearts open to the possibilities of the electric revolution.